Here we will discuss the Russo-Japanese War in more detail. Remember, you don't need to know everything about the war, rather the effect of war in causing the 1905 revolution. The Tsar's Minister of Finance, Sergei Vite, developed the Trans-Siberian Railway to open up Russia to its natural resources and increase transport and communication throughout Russia. There was growing discontent from different sections of society, and Vyacheslav Plev, his Minister of the Interior, felt that a short war would help unite the people behind their leader. Russia would surely win a war against Japan. They had more soldiers and more resources, and so they felt this may be a great idea. They would gain career and gain a nice free port for trading or for military purposes. At this point, the technology of ships was limited and Russia had difficulty breaking through the thick ice around their coastline. In 1856, the Crimean War ended and Russia had failed to gain access through the Mediterranean. The Russo-Japanese War would enable them to try again for this goal. Nicholas wanted to expand Russia to show his people he was a good leader. Japan too wanted to expand, but unfortunately had limited places to expand to, the nearest place being Korea. Japan tried to negotiate with Russia, but to no avail. War was declared. The war was a logistical nightmare for Russia. The Japanese had been modernising in line with Western powers and could easily get resources onto ships and sail across towards the Russians. The Petropavlovsk was immediately sunk by Japanese mines and they laid siege to Port Arthur so the Russians couldn't get their ships out to fight. Russia sent its Baltic fleet to fight. It had to travel around from the Baltic, around the tip of Africa and back up, a journey which took seven months to reach Japan. They had various problems en route. They had to stop to make repairs and buy supplies on the way. This is a really good example of the logistical issues Russia faced during the war. Port Arthur is another example. Things there were going from bad to worse. The railway did not even the advantage. It was single track and some sections were still incomplete and Russia had overstretched itself, hauling resources over such a distance. War had a huge impact on society. All priority went to feeding and supplying the army. Russia was not producing enough and this increased prices. Not only were there food shortages but fuel up too. If Russia had no fuel, its industry would be crippled. Not only this, it would be impossible to heat themselves or cook food for everyday Russians, and during the harsh winter this was vital. There are a few notable battles, like the Battle of Mukden, where the Russians had over twice the casualties that the Japanese had. There are other battles too, not mentioned here, because again you need to focus on the impact of war and how it made the people feel towards the Tsar, how humiliated they felt at being beaten so badly by what they considered an inferior country. Another major battle was the Battle of Tsushima. When the Baltic fleet arrived, it was no surprise. The Japanese had known they were coming and were ready. It took around seven months for the Russians to get there and 30 minutes to be obliterated. In June, the battleship Potemkin mutinied 
they confronted their captain about the maggot-infested meat they had to eat, and the captain turned and shot the ringleader in the head. The sailors mutinied and sailed to Odessa, where an uprising was taking place. This was brutally put down by the Tsar's loyal Cossacks, and portrayed in Sergei Eisenstein's film Battleship Potemkin. After the defeat at Tashima, the Tsar knew it was over. Sergei Vite negotiated the peace treaty in the neutral Portsmouth, and it became the Treaty of Portsmouth. Vite did really well here. Russia did lose the war, but didn't lose much. Russia kept territory and did not pay the cost of war. Japan got control of Korea, the Manchurian Railway, lease of Port Arthur, and southern Sakhalin. Again, remember, you will only be asked questions on the significance of war. Russia was humiliated by the defeats, by Nicholas's leadership. The war caused shortages and put a major strain on the social and economic situation. A vital thing you need to remember is that the war happens at the same time as revolution. Yes, it starts in 1904, before the revolution in January 1905. But the main defeats like Mukden and Tashima happened when the revolution had already started. <laughs>